Introducing a new solar technology with improved performance in partial shadow. This is a foldable solar panel with all the typical features. There's uh, cables and connectors for the 100 watt output. There's also USB and USB-C outputs. There are legs so you can adjust it for any sun angle. But there's one more feature that's unique. The power doesn't drop much if there's a partial shadow. So, under real-world conditions, the output can be much higher than standard solar panels. For example, on the right is a foldable 100-watt solar panel with Shade Stopper technology, and on the left is a similar panel, but without it. The two outputs go to these two meters that read the delivered voltage, the current, and the power being delivered to these two identical solar generators. Now, let's see what happens if a regular panel is slightly shaded, watch where the decimal point is. It's around 10 watts now. Believe it or not, this is typical of solar panels. If you have a panel and generator, try this at home. Here's where shade stopper panels perform much better. In the same partial shading, we're getting around 70 watts out of the possible 80 today in hazy sunlight. The output only decreases roughly proportional to the amount of area that's being blocked with Shade Stopper. In fact, if I block just one of the 36 cells of this typical panel, watch the output. It goes down to below 2 watts. This is the same output if just one of these cells got broken. The Shade Stopper panel is more resilient. By the way, the 36 cells in these two panels are oriented slightly differently. This is vertical, that one's horizontal. Nonetheless, Shade Stopper technology is reading about 70 watts out of the possible 80 watts available today. You'll also get this output, 80 watts, 70 watts rather, uh, if one of the Shade Stopper cells were broken. Now imagine this, you're out in the wilderness with this, and one of the cells gets broken. How are you going to get power?